You know Windows 10 has become one of the most widely used operating systems worldwide and other than some compatibility issues and a lot of bloatware, Windows 10 manages everything better than its predecessors of course. And some older systems have trouble running Windows 10 which happens as Windows 10 itself is a pretty much resource hungry OS. Well hey there awesome people, how are you all doing? So this is your Vbro from TechWeek and in this video I have some methods by which you can drastically improve real-time Windows performance on every system even if you are on an older system. So without further ado, let's get into the video. Alright, so the first method that we have is by speeding up the system boot. Often people ignore the startup speed while optimizing Windows. This could really result into light and good start for your system. When you turn on your computer, there are many applications that Windows fires up. And these applications put additional load on your resources at the same time. And hence it leads to a slow start. You can always close the applications from the taskbar, but you could also prevent them from starting. Well, this will ensure less load on your system, making it more usable. Well, now in order to do that, right click on the taskbar and click on task manager. Click on more details on the lower left side. And after that, click on the startup tab on the upper right side. Now right click on any application that you can see and click on disable. Make sure you disable third party application and in this way you can speed up your system boot. Alright so the second method is by disabling background applications. The title explains itself quite very well. Background applications are the ones that aren't displayed in the taskbar and they keep running on the background while using your system resources. This might not be a problem for high-end PC, but it could be a major pull-down for low-end PC users like us. Disabling background applications could immediately boost system speed in just a bump. Now in order to do that, click on the Windows icon and click on the settings. Click on privacy. Scroll down and click on background apps. Now manually disable the background apps which you don't use and that's pretty much it. Now the third method that we have is by turning off the system updates. I know it sounds odd as we always recommend keeping your system up to date but automatic updates often slow down systems. It's not the best idea but this can just do the job if you have a really old system and you aren't planning to upgrade it anytime sooner. If you are using a third-party antivirus software instead of Windows Defender, then you don't need that Windows Update turn on on your old PC. Now in order to do that, press the Windows key plus R to open Run and type in services.msc and click on OK. In a new window, find and right-click on the Windows Update option. Click on Properties and click on stop in the service status. Click on apply and OK. And after that, close the open windows. Before getting into the next method, I would like to mention that 98% of you guys aren't subscribed to my channel. Now, if you really love this video and want to support me, please do consider hitting the subscribe button as it means the world to me. Now moving forward on the fourth, that is the fourth method that we have is by enabling the built-in performance preset. Windows 10 has a performance option or presets of its own. This can be turned on manually and after you switch it on, automatically changes the appearance and animation settings of your OS. This results in reduced load on your system and favors performance. This isn't a traditional boost feature, but it could make your system faster in terms of browsing your hard drives, opening applications and stuff like that. Now in order to do that, right click on this PC icon and click on properties. Click on advanced system on the right side. After that, click on adjust for best performance and click apply and then close the windows. This will ensure for better performance and you will definitely see a difference in while opening or browsing through your computer. 
So the fifth method is by checking and closing background processes. Background processes can sometimes consume huge amount of resources in the background. And Google Chrome is well known for this. It can consume anywhere from 200 to 1000 megabytes of RAM or even more sometimes. And once you close some unnecessary background processes, you get more RAM and processing power for other tasks. For example, applications like Skype keep on running in the background even if you aren't using them. Moreover, if you have a low-end PC, then consider disabling or closing such processes. But now, in order to do this, right-click on your taskbar and click on Task Manager. Click on More Details and search for the third-party processes which you aren't using. Right-click on any particular process and click End Task. This should stop the running process. Now, I would like to recommend closing third-party processes in order to ensure stable performance. All right, and method six is by turning on the ultimate performance mode. Windows has already some built-in power consumption option in the power settings, and these include high performance, ultimate performance, balanced mode, and power saver mode. By default, the system runs in balanced mode, which adjusts power based on the power consumption. In many systems, changing power mode to high performance or ultimate performance results in an increase in performance, so follow my steps to enable ultimate performance mode. Click on the start button and type in CMD. Right click on CMD and run it as administrator. After that, copy and paste the above pin code and hit enter. Don't worry, this code will be in the description or it will be splashing in the screen. After that, close CMD and hit Windows button plus I and click on System Options. After that, navigate to Power and Sleep option, click the Additional Power Settings, click on Show Additional Plans and select Ultimate Performance. Now the seventh method that we have is by cleaning temporary or junk files. Temporary files or junk files are stored in Windows Drive where we install the OS. With time, the collected files occupy more space and trim down system performance overall. Temporary files are created when you browse the internet, install an application, or just simply, simply use an application. Also, there are many applications that clean junk files in just a click. There's also an option in Windows 10 which can clean the temporary files without needing any third-party application for the job. Now follow my steps to clean the junk files in Windows. Click on the Start button and search for Storage Settings. Click the Storage Setting option and click on the Temporary Files option. Select the files and click Remove. In this way, you can clean the temporary or the junk files inside your Windows. The eighth method is by performing disk defragmentation. Sometimes, or say most of the times, files present in the HDD scatter which makes the read and write a quite long process. In other words, it makes the system slower. The solution to this is disk defragmentation. Defragmentation basically arranges the files in the HDD which makes it easier to read and write ultimately resulting in a faster system. Windows 10 has a built-in defragmentation tool that just does the job. So you don't need to install any third-party additional software. Now click on the Start button and type in Defragmentation and click on Defragment and Optimize Drive. Select the drive which you want to optimize and then click on Optimize button. I recommend you defragmenting the whole storage. After doing all this stuff, I would suggest you to reboot your system because some, there are some changes that will only work after you restart your system. In this way, you can easily speed up Windows 10 system. If this video was helpful, then please do consider liking this video and do share this video with your friends and family as it would help this video to reach other amazing people like you. Well, that's it for this video. Have a great day. God bless you all and I will see you guys in the next video. Cheers.